guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I have been putting off for so, so long and that is designing my wedding invitations. Excuse the wind, the tiles in the studio are literally blowing up right now. Outside is super windy, but I have been putting these off for such a long time. I've been procrastinating about them because there is just so much pressure on these invites. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a qualified graphic designer. I went to university, got my graphic design degree. I have actually designed wedding invitations professionally for a couple of people. And I designed my mum and dad's wedding invitation back when I was 13. It actually turned out pretty cool if I remember it correctly. I have done other people's invites before but I've never done my own and I haven't done an extensive amount to be completely confident on them. I feel like there is some expectations from my family and friends. Now I'm putting these expectations on myself I wasn't even initially going to do some invitations, it was purely going to be a digital invite. But I found some old paper and old supplies in my studio that have just been lying around gathering dust from when I used to have Baby Blue, my other business. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to try and be resourceful and use all this old supply and these paper materials. Oh, I also have a really, really old mono printer and I have some gold foil from when I used to experiment with gold foil about four years ago. So I'm going to see if I can make the invites. So let's just jump into it and get into the designs but first of all I just want to say a huge shout out and a thank you to our sponsor today Audible. Audible is actually one of the leading providers of audiobooks. Now I love me a good audiobook and I love me a good podcast and you guys know if you're existing to my channel that I listen to these when I'm working and I'm illustrating or designing. I love sticking on an audiobook. I personally like to listen to kind of self-help and development audiobooks while I'm working. It kind of feels like I'm killing two birds with one stone when I'm doing that. And I've recently been listening to this book. The Chimp Paradox by Professor Steve Peters. It's really, really interesting, all about the different parts of the brain and how they work together. And if you want to go check it out, you can visit www.audible.com slash catnip or text catnip to 500-500 and start listening with an exclusive 30-day free trial, one free audiobook of your choice, and two Audible originals absolutely free. Okay, let's get into the video. Let's stop procrastinating and let's just jump straight into the design. Oh, it turns out okay. Oh my goodness. So I tried to use as many supplies as possible that I already had. And the first supply was the paper. And this was the canvas paper and it's by Blue Diamond, I believe, or Black Diamond. And it was like this slightly textured canvas paper. And I used to use it for my art prints and stuff. It's not the best texture, but I thought it would be pretty nice to use on my invites. Next up, I had a bunch of tracing paper left over. I accidentally bought two batches of this rather than just one when I was experimenting with my greeting cards bands. And I thought I've been seeing a lot of tracing paper style invites on Pinterest. I thought this would be pretty cool to have. I also really, really love the texture of tracing paper. I don't know if that's weird, but I absolutely love the feeling of it. Then I had some trusty old foil. Now I actually used to foil prints and stuff, but I stopped doing it because it tended to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but I still have tons and tons of leftover foils from then so I decided to give this a go as well and see how this would turn out foiling things I didn't actually know if it was gonna work or not to be honest with you now one thing I did have to purchase was envelopes so I actually purchased these dusky pink ones which have a slight texture to them they're really really pretty actually I purchased these off I think it was called paper box and I got these in a six and I also had to purchase some little confettis I didn't have to purchase these this was just a little extra and I just didn't know if I was going to add this or not. I couldn't really decide what I was going to do with it to be perfectly honest with you. The final thing that I purchased were these little split pins because I wanted to kind of have my invites laid up and I wanted to poke a hole through the top and kind of have it so you moved the invites out the way. So I purchased these little split pins off Amazon. And that was it. That's all the supplies I have to work with. So fingers crossed everything goes according to plan. I'm a little scared about this. I actually got my sketchbook out and did some experimentations and jotted down some designs. I find it really, really handy to kind of sketch out my ideas 
ideas and my ideas was kind of this three layered invite that would like kind of fan out oops that's my phone what a bad voiceover I am but yeah I kind of had the idea of it fanning out and then I also had the idea of having a belly band I've seen a lot of these over on Pinterest and I just had an experiment and play around with sketches and stuff and ultimately I came up with the three layer fan idea uh, which I thought would work the best to be honest so at the front I wanted to have transparent paper the second page I wanted like a watercolor splash and the third page I wanted kind of some details and things like that like really minimalist details I also began sketching out our names because I wanted to use my own handwriting as kind of like a logo to the front of the invite I also dusted off an old <laughs> laser printer that I had ready for the foiling and an old laminating machine that I got from Dolly H Smith no idea if these were but I had to try it. What I wanted to do here was create some of my own watercolour splashes and washes. So I got out an old Arteza watercolour pad and I just basically laid down some different washes and marks on the paper, which you'll see right now. Once I was done illustrating the little minimal details that I wanted to add, I decided to scan in my watercolour washes and change the brightness and everything and have a little play around on Photoshop so here you can see me just experimenting with different designs and stuff. What I did was I copied and pasted the watercolour washes and then I pasted it into my invite layer and I would just kind of drop it underneath my text because this black text and the black details that you've seen here was the bit that I wanted to be foiled so everything in black is to be foiled gold so I placed the watercolours underneath it and I changed around with the layer settings like multiply and stuff so that the watercolour would shine through. played around with things like colours and stuff because I felt like the pink was a little bit too hot so I used the replacement colour tool to desaturate and change the hue of the watercolour so that it would match my invites a little bit better. I have to admit at this point it was getting a little hard to see how this was all going to come together. I really wasn't liking the design. I think the black of the text and the minimal like illustrations was really throwing me off so i'm gonna try and print this as a sample i've just plugged in uh, my old samsung trusty samsung uh this is the express m2026 and i bought this specifically for foiling and for also doing like my shipping labels and stuff and this is just a purely black and white printer so fingers crossed that it'll work i have no idea if it'll feed this thin tracing paper through I think I may have a cartridge that I got from cartridge save over there so because it says it's low on ink so let's give this a try and see if the foiling is going to work or not so it looks like it's printed on the tracing paper fine which is good uh, now is the moment of truth I'm going to get my foiler out at least I know now if the foil doesn't work that I could do some sort of eucalyptus or something so I'm going to print 
Uh, I'm going to plug in my lamination machine, which I got from, I don't know if you can tell where I got it from, WH Smith, and I'm going to feed through the foil and see if that works. Now for foiling, I actually used to have like a sheet of paper and I used to wedge in the sheet of paper, like wedge my foiling materials in the sheet of paper, but I can't find it, so I'm just going to have to feed it directly in with the foil on top. So let's give it a go and see if this works. The only thing with this is, I don't know if this is going to hold down in place while I feed it through. We're going to just have to try it. Maybe I could put a little bit of washi tape or something. Let's see if this works. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Let's peel this off and see if it's worked. <gasps> has but there is a bit oh. okay so this is the result it has foiled but there is some patches of black but that does happen with foiling but other than that even all the little stars have managed to apply foil so it looks pretty cute I'm not too bothered about the black dots because that does happen with foiling Okay, so I've printed out and I've designed, added, well, I've added to my design of the tracing paper with some more illustrations that I illustrated earlier and I added my details. These are different details to my actual wedding day uh, just to keep that private. But yeah, this looks pretty cute. I'm going to foil it. And I've also printed on the textured paper these two minimally looking watercolour things and I adjusted the colours to try and match the invites. I think they're still are not quite not quite the colour but it'll do. Uh, and I'm going to actually try and tear these and see if it gets a really nice rustic tear effect uh, using a ruler, so classic old ruler method. And I'm going to feed this in but it should look something like this but in foil over the top looks pretty nice but i need to decide which one i prefer so i'm going to foil this and i'm going to tear these sheets So this is what they both look like so far. Look at that. I've left the lamination machine on and it laminates much better when it's been on and warmed up for a while. This is the minimalistic one. This is the one with the most details. I think I like the most detailed one. Oh, actually, looking at them through the camera, <laughs> it's actually a little hard to pick one. And let's see what the detailed one looks like on top of the minimalist one. Okay, so I think I might prefer the minimalist rather than the two watercolor strokes. I think I prefer the single one. Yeah, looks nice. What do you think? Do you like it? It's also left a little bit of this gold dust all over the tracing paper. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it kind of adds to it. So I've just very roughly cut out the tracing paper. I'm just going to place a hole punch at the top. I am having a third sheet of paper underneath all this uh, with all the full details on and the RSVP. So it will be a pack of three. And then the back page is going to be another foiled page, I think, if I can be bothered to do that. Because this is going to take me a very long time to make them all. But I think it's a minimalist design. And then I'm just going to see what it looks like with a hole punched in and the gold on top. Let's have a look. I'm going to punch that in the middle. And just, oh, I haven't done that on centre, but never mind. Split pinning. Like that. Ta-da! And that is what it looks like. 
I think that's pretty cute. And then you'll be able to slide it to the side to read what's on the third page. What do you think to this? And then this is the envelope. Kind of goes quite nice, am I right? I feel like the colour of the pink needs to be a little bit more of a yellow tone so I'm going to just adjust it to try and match the envelope. Okay so I've decided instead of a wax seal I'm going to foil some stickers so I've just been on Photoshop and created these stickers here using a template that I found online. I have pre-scored sticker sheets here that I usually use for catnip and they've all got circles in and they're already pre-scored so I thought this would be a great opportunity to make some sticker seals but what I'll do is I'll foil this so that it'll look pretty on the back of the invitation. Ta-da! Wow, they look so good. Look how shiny they are. Nice. Okay, so here's what it's looking like so far. It's looking pretty cute. The only thing I'm having an issue with, the gold stars also work really, really well. So I am going to actually be putting them in the invitation as well. Because they kind of go pretty cutely. Uh, the only thing I'm having issues with is this curling here. As you can see, the tracing paper is curling because it's not super thick. I'm hoping that if I lay it down straight after foiling, that it will look a little better. And for the invitation seals, I was going to do them pink or maybe dark green. Kind of reminds me of a frosty wintry morning. I asked Danielle downstairs what she thought and she also thought it looked like a frosty wintry morning. So it's looking pretty cute. And then this will be sealed with this. So let's see what that looks like. Slightly off centre, that's the only thing. Ta-da! This one's off centre. Oh dear. Still looks cute though. I just need to do the third page and do all my details i just really wish this wasn't curling up now i've finished the back of the invite the third piece of the paper and i've just put a little watercolor on so it's slightly different now that i'm looking at it i feel like that needs to be on the bottom just to give it some contrast as you open them up yeah i feel like because the watercolor is running through here and you're going to slide through there. I feel like the watercolour should be down here and the text should be maybe up there. Okay, so I've printed the next one with the watercolour underneath at the bottom here. So there's a contrast of where the watercolour is. Now I'm just going to tear this and I'm going to add it to this. And then I think I'm just going to end it there.
Okay, that's it. I'm all done. I'm super, super happy with how they've actually turned out. This is only a test one and it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a bit battered and stuff but they look really really cute and I really like the use of the sticker seals like I said I was going to do the wax seals but it's so time consuming especially when you've got a bunch to make as it is this is going to take me long enough making 50 to 60 of these bad boys especially with the foiling I'm glad I didn't opt for foiling on the back even though it would look really really pretty doing the same thing on the front on the back but it's another extra step that I don't really want to do. So this is the final result. I hope you liked it. I'm also going to add the little gold star confettis in there because it worked really, really well. Maybe just like four or five. The people might hate me when they open it. But they look really, really cute um, alongside the wedding invites. So yeah. Let me know your thoughts on them as well. Did you like how they turned out? And if you want to create something similar, I will be putting the minimal little illustrations available for digital download in my Etsy store. And I'll also put those watercolor washes that I made in my Etsy store too. So you don't have to faff on with the making of your own watercolor washes and your own little illustrations. So you can go and find that. I'll leave a link in the description. Before I end this video, I want to say a huge thank you again to Audible, our sponsor for today's video which I was super super excited about when they reached out to me and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for coming on such a special journey design journey with me because this is probably one of the most important things that I'll design for myself so I really enjoyed taking you along with me and I hope you liked how it turned out because I'm pretty happy with how it turned out although I would like a slightly thicker tracing paper but other than that I really like it all right Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.